Well, are you ready to try a book? Sure. Are we ready? Yes. yes. When the books come to you, they're going to come to you in the mail in these plastic containers. These happen to be a deep bright blue and they have a label on the side that's like the spine of a book with the author and the title and that number that it was shelved by back at the library. On the side of the box there's a paper card about the size of an index card and it has your name and address on it. And up in the corner where the postage would go it's pre-printed free matter for the blind. Now after you get done listening to a book or say you didn't really care for the book and you want to return it to the library, you slide the card out. It's just slid under three edges. You turn the card over and you turn the box around and on the reverse side of the address card is the name of the library where it should be mailed back to. Again, no postage is necessary. In the upper corner where the postage would be, it's pre-printed, free matter for the blind. Now some people may notice that there is a tiny hole in the corner of the card. That is to help you if you're having a bad vision day and you can't make out the print, when the hole is where the postage would go, it's your name facing out. If you have the card turned over so the library's address is facing out, the hole will always be where the return address would have gone. And you just slide it back in under the plastic edges and it's ready to be put in the nearest mailbox or put out for the mailman. If you have a table at your apartment complex where the outgoing mail goes or something like that. The box itself is the mailing container and it holds the book. So there are two straps that hold the box shut. Those are the latches and they're just snap straps. If you want to give it a try, to pop them up. If you have trouble unsnapping the straps, you can use like a pop bottle opener or the bowl of a spoon to pry it up. I have a staple puller. Oh, okay. They do work a little stiffly, that's why I suggest you try the other stuff. The box is hinged and um, it opens on the same side as the straps. It's hinged so the lid won't fall off. Oh, Inside there's, there's the book. is the book. And we call these cartridges um, because they're not really cassette tapes. These are the digital books. It has a little hole in one side that you can use to grab it with your finger to hook it and get it out of the box. And then we'll just put the box to one side. Now, the title of the book appears on the top of the cartridge. Again, if you're having trouble making out the print and you're not sure which side is the top side of the cartridge, you can feel the braille bumps. Even if you can't read braille, if you can feel what seems like grip. You know, that's the top. That's the top. And you're going to hold that cartridge so the hole is towards your chest. At the other end, there's a tiny metal edge, and that's the book. Maybe you can turn it around so they can get a glimpse of it on the camera. But that's, that's the end that's going to be inserted in the slot. So, in here, we're going to turn your player a little bit at an angle. Yep. Now, insert the book in the slot and it'll go up to the finger hole. It won't pinch your finger, but it kind of grabs the cartridge. Closing the user guide. Okay. Devil May Care, the new James Bond novel by Sebastian Falks. Okay, we're going to pause it. For a moment. Six, nine, nine. Okay, as soon as you insert the book, because the player's on, the narrator will begin to read you the information. And just like the old uh, cassettes that we had, the books on cassette, they read you everything, the title page, the author, the title, the copyright, the place of publication. They give you a brief annotation, and they tell you something about the author. 
they'll tell you how many hours it takes to listen to the book and then they'll go on and continue then with starting with the table of contents and the page numbers. As you listen to the book with this new digital book, you never have to stop at the end of side one and turn the cassette over. Instead, it will play all the way through unless you get tired of listening to it, in which case you just press the green play stop button and then oh, press the power off. button. Mm -hmm. And you leave it in the slot until you're ready to listen again, at which time you turn the machine on. Player on. Devil May Care. And there you go. The new and James Bond in. novel. Current position. You Devil read, May Care. It reads the new everything that's in the front on the one page where it tells the very first time, yes. Now, when you stop it and restart it, like later in the day, it will repeat the author, the title, the digital book number, how many hours of listening time remain on the book, and then it will tell you where current position. It'll repeat the title again, and you're thinking, oh no. He's starting back at the very beginning. No, they just go through that twice before they then go on and pick up wherever it was you left off. Who trains the people who read? They're professional readers and uh, they're contracted by the recording studios who've been contracted by the Library of Congress to read the books. You know, it's amazing what they've done. Yeah. I can remember as a child, one of the children in my class was blind, and she did read Braille. Mm -hmm. So I knew there was such a thing, but I, I guess the idea was so far off in the future, I couldn't even imagine this, something like this. Yeah. Actually, they've had recorded books for the blind since the... 30s or 40s. They started a long time ago. Mm -hmm. They added uh, the children's books to the collection in the 50s. Until that time it was just adults, adult literature only. Then they added children's books in the 50s and now they do have books for all ages. Um, obviously they can't record everything that's published because there's only so much budget money to go around. Yeah. So they do a selection. That's why they start with the bestsellers and with the children's books, uh, the, the bestsellers there too. And I'll bet at a guess there's Harry Potter books. Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it's a very, very, very popular book like that, they really try to get a head start on getting the book recorded so that it comes out within a few months after the book print copy is published.